Hi, this is Jim Stark with the Kitmaker Network, and welcome to another episode of Cracking the Box. Today we've got a Mini Art uh, AEC Mark II armored car. This kit just came out and is in 135th scale. Uh, its number is 35155. And uh, on the box cover, it says here unassembled plastic model kit. Kit contains 531 parts, 44 photo etched parts included. Box contains model of an armored car. AEC was a manufacturer of truck and bus chassis and its Matador artillery tractor was used for towing medium field and heavy anti-aircraft guns. The armored car, based on the Matador chassis, was developed initially as a private venture and shown to officials in 1941 during Horse Guards Parade in London, where it made a favorable impression on Churchill. 629 units were produced in 1942 and 1943. AEC tried to build an armored car with firepower and protection comparable to those of contemporary tanks, the first version carried a Ballantine Mark II turret with a two-pounder gun. Subsequent versions received more powerful armament, a six-pounder gun for the Mark II and a 75-millimeter gun for the Mark III. The vehicle also carried two machine guns, smoke grenades discharger, and number 19 radio set. The Mark I was first used in combat in the North African campaign late in 1942, where a few vehicles were reportedly fitted with a Crusader tank turret mounting a six-pounder gun. The Mark II and Mark III took part in fighting in Europe with British and British Indian Army units, often together with the Staghound. The vehicle remained in service after the end of the war until replaced by the Alvis Saladin. The Lebanese Army used the car at least until 1976. Okay, so we've got um, your your stuff is in Russian, though. I assume I assume it's in Russian, not Ukrainian, because I know there is a difference. Um, so let's see here. Uh, they give you, obviously, in the, the instruction manual, some nice colored pages. We've got uh, color uh, overviews. And they do say uh, Indian infantry and um, uh, Russian. So we've got uh, uh, Indian markings and Russian markings. Indian from 1943, so pre-independence, pre, uh, obviously, India. And then we have, oh, I'm sorry, there's a second unit. Uh, which one has the flag on it? Uh, uh, what, first is the 10th in Indian Infantry Division, obviously British Army, but Indian uh, volunteers, Indian componentry probably. Then the Roy Royal Armored Corps um, Unbrigaded Unit, Middle East, 1943 to 44. And then Tank Proving Grounds, Kablinka. So this one was a, well, a captured unit, I'm assuming. Captured from who, I don't know, but uh, that, that one's at Kubinka. And that one says USSR 1944 to 1945. Unless that was a lend lease, maybe. It could be a lend lease. So, um, anyways, that exa that answers my question. Oh, there's a fourth unit on the back here, which is the ah, oh, I see Yugoslav. So there's a first armored brigade of Yugoslav People's Army, Balkans, 1940-40-45. That's the one that's depicted on the box cover. Sorry, I did not know the Yugoslav flag from 1944-45. Okay, so moving on, we've got uh, the parts overlay here um, in the instruction manual, which is nice. We've got uh, first steps, which uh, basically just going through kind of in a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine down the page. Uh, so obviously lots of detailed images here, mostly um, looks like part numbers and there's no actual uh, other than symbol symbol instructions or uh, illustrations of things going together. There's no other uh, verbiage, but it uh, looks fairly clear and looks like they use their CAD drawings, obviously, like a, like um, mini art usually does. Uh, and uh, so final steps and to completion of the turret and so forth. Looks like there's a nice turret detail on the interior parts. And then the final turret and main body going together. So uh, let's see what's in the packaging. Obviously we can see the decals and and so forth. And since this is a, a British unit, we'll, I'll say decals. The, you can see the decals. Um, hmm. These are vacuum, these are not vacuum sealed. They are, they are shrink wrap sealed. I'll, I'll cut this portion out obviously, hopefully. Okay. So, my goodness. Interesting way of doing this. Well, <laughs> they are actually layered in here. They, oh, I see, I see. This is actually interesting. I might actually leave this in the video because of the way it's put together. So, this one is wrapped. Oh, I see. That When the machine melted it, it melted it together. So, we've got one piece there. 
Uh, then we have a loose piece. Then we have another bagged piece. Then we have another piece. Disconnect that from there, and the last piece, which is again kind of. Okay, so you, be careful opening this because it, you, know, you may pull something you're not supposed to. I'd be unhappy that you broke apart. Okay, so um, I'll go ahead and put these on the table. So first of all, we got um, this uh, all wrapped piece with the decals, a photo etch piece, and a clear crystal piece. And I'm going to do photos, for those of you not familiar with these reviews, I'm going to do some photos uh, in a little bit, so that will definitely uh, give you some close-up shots of those. And then we have this piece, which I'm not going to pull out of here until I do the photos, but you can see, uh, let me do it this way so we're not going to all the background stuff behind us. What happened to my image? Oh, there we go. Okay, um, so let me put these off to the side. So you can see, um, you know, this is obviously a lot of this... Uh, Cooling radiator system, steering wheels. I'm seeing some nice detail there on the steering wheels. Looks like that it had some kind of um, um, finger notching across the inside of it. And transmission-y looking pieces. Not sure, it doesn't have an engine, right? Didn't think I saw that in the instructions. So here's some of these side uh, armor. And uh, the detail looks really good. So uh, again, take a look at the photos. But uh, I'm not seeing any flash. I mean, there's a little bit of flash here on the, the actual sprues themselves, but I don't see any attached to parts, kit parts. So that looks good. And here's another piece. This one has lots of things on the inside. Oh, this one's open, sort of. Let's pull this one open. So we've got, looks like, uh, two pieces of the same bit with maybe, yeah, with some, some additional. That's interesting the way they did that. So they did... These are obviously the additional pieces, and then this is the duplicated portion. Uh, so the interior road wheels that were detailed there looks good. And these are have interesting, these are plastic, obviously plastic um, wheels, tires. Um, and I'm not sure where the outer, I guess we'll find those eventually, the outer bits, unless they're wrapping around. Hmm, keep an eye out for those. Um, so then we have, uh, that's just the duplicated piece. And then we have, oop, I dropped a piece. Piece fell off. Um, again, good, good detail, no flash. This is, this one's, they've done some nice little, uh, extrusion bits there. And, uh, look, the quality looks really good. I have to admit the mini arts, um, factors. Oh, here's the outside of the wheels. Um, I'll go ahead and open these so we can get a better look at those, or I can get a better look at those. Okay, and then we have the final bits, and there's a nice machine gun there for you. And then we have the... Um, Road wheels are obviously kind of a, a slide over type exterior or the um, tread parts of the wheels. So they look they look pretty good. Not a whole lot of detail, but then the originals may not have had much more than what we're seeing here. Um, there are obviously four of those. And uh, that's it. So well, let's uh, take a look at the close-up photos and you can get probably a much better look at this and then I'll come back and wrap up.
Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed those photos, and it uh, looks like the AEC Mark II armored car is going to be an interesting little build. Uh, obviously not uh, quite as simplistic as some might, people might expect for such a essentially a small scout car vehicle, so it looks like um, Mini Art has really done their homework on this one and incorporated a lot of uh, detail and additional kind of uh, sub-details that uh, they didn't have to, obviously, so it looks like a a pretty good, uh, pretty good result, I think, all around. We'll have to wait and see what one looks like when it's put together. And I'm sure we're all, uh, you know, looking for those of you interested in this vehicle. We're probably all looking forward to seeing what it does look like all assembled. Um, for this one, we are looking for reviewers right now, anyway. So if you are interested uh, in reviewing this kit, please let us know. And thanks for watching. Leave your comments and suggestions below.